Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Storm Track Meteorologist Nate Harrington. We had uh, some storms in the area last night. Uh, nothing severe. Had one report of some uh, wind damage, a tree knocked down up in Haleyville, but that was actually before the rain even got uh, to that particular area last night. So we dodged a bullet. A lot of, though, uh, the southeast had to deal with some nasty storms. We had tornadoes in northern Mississippi. We had wind damage in north Alabama. We had uh, ice and snow in uh, the Midwest and even some parts of uh, Tennessee we had some ice and some freezing rain but around here we just dealt with some rain and a little bit of gusty wind. This morning there were some isolated pockets of some frozen precipitation. We're talking about some sleet up in the northwest corner of our viewing area, Marion County near Hamilton. And you can see some pink showing up on the radar, which indicates some mixed precip, some either freezing rain or sleet. The air temperatures aren't quite as cold as uh, the radar is, is indicating, and the ground temperatures aren't cold either for any of this to accumulate. So we're not expecting an ice event. This is all just uh, some light, steady rain for the rest of the afternoon. Basically, everyone north of I-59 is now done with the rain. And uh, for the rest of us, we'll see the rain slowly taper off through the rest of the afternoon. But it is cold. Coleman, you're at 28 degrees, 33 in Hamilton, 31 in Columbus. It is going to be cold, a little bit blustery too. Temperatures are going to drop enough to where we might be concerned about some ice developing on some uh, rural roads, some surface uh, streets for early tomorrow morning. So be aware of that. We're going to mention that coming up in the forecast tonight on the CBS 42 News at 10 o'clock. We'll update you on air temperatures and what we might expect there as well. We'll also have the update on WIAT.com and our Storm Track weather app. You can track the rain where it is. If it's still raining at your house, you can use that app to know when the rain will say bye-bye. We'll talk about the cold weather to start the work week off as well in the forecast too coming up at 10 o'clock. We'll see you then.